Taylor Swift apparently sold 1.2 or 1.5 million copies of her re-recorded album that she was in the Scooter Braun fight about. I don't know the name of it because I didn't. 1989. 1989 is the name of the album. It's her biggest album, I think, previously. And And now. 1.5 on a re-release? 1.5 on a release is crazy. 1.5 on a (laughs) re-release? So what is this about the record labels trying to put a stop to uh, the the re-recorded release? They started putting in um, clauses. Yeah, yeah, they... No re-record clause for 30 years, some in perpetuity. Mm-hmm. You can never re-record in the contract. Before it was five to seven years or two years after the deal ends, whichever was hey, greater. So now that they saw what she's doing and a couple other people, but her success really, it's like, oh no, we gonna, we want to put it into this. So now new deals, they're putting in 30 years, perpetuity. Like you just can't re-record ever. And also, every time it's, it's a cat and mouse game. Every time mm-hmm. you get an artist or it. something finds a, a way around it, mm-hmm. they come in and say, "Nope, we're going to change the rules again, so that That's no longer crazy. applies, or we have to eat off of that." Now, now this only that. applies obviously to people who are signing new contracts. Yeah, this is new. So, for the rest of the world, you're all right. Yeah, and but even people, but even on the re, but, uh, but on, on your re sign, yeah, yeah, on, on your re up, yeah, it could be on your re. We're gonna throw it in there too. Don't put the town like nothing when I'm hopeful slip. A small city or some, but mostly no one forgets. On the outskirts of where I've been, dreaming since a kid. Thought I was cursed to never see a radio hit. A Grammy the industry or something, even close. Miles outside. Of- What's going on, all my hopefuls? This is JC Flames, and what you just saw there was a clip, again, from the Joe Button podcast. I love this clip. All right, now, most of my genres and what I cover with my content, even the music I make, is all in either hip-hop or R&B. But if you are into pop and all those things, I'm sure if you're watching this right now, you know who Taylor Swift is. Come on now. It's arguably one of the biggest artists out right now and has been for quite a few years. Now, I had to show you guys this clip. Again, it's not specialized in my genres per se, but I had to show you guys this clip because... She made, I mean, she made waves, not only with her album 1989, was selling as much as she did, but she also decided to re-record it and made even more than that, I'm sure now, if you're watching this, but it's pretty impressive not only to do that. Now, for all of you, or if you're just watching this, you're probably thinking, well, why did she re-record it? She re-recorded that album because the record label was actually taken a lot of her her royalties um a lot of the streams she was making from that and she decided uh let me re-record it so i can get a bigger bag let me let me get that bag okay because i don't want you taking a lot of that and it was pretty smart for her to do that now i've heard of other artists doing this as well dmx did it before he passed away he recorded a lot of his music and they're even talking about it on that clip saying tank one of my favorite r&b singers was uh had that same issue with the record label as well because he was getting no royalties from that he was getting none none of it and he thought about re-recording it but his voice isn't the same as what it used to be right and it's a little difficult with singers right with taylor swift she was able to do that and she made that back and some right now if you're watching that and you just did of course like a lot of joe Budden's podcasts which i love he's exposing it saying well news just hit that the record labels are getting privy to that little loophole that they found and now they're going to have a clause in there up to 30 years where you can't even re-record to get your royalties back and it's it's crazy to think that you guys it's crazy excuse me to think that record labels would be that predatory but they are and if you do your proper research and you look at a lot of these record labels and the way the business model works for the record business, you're going to see that they're very, very predatory. All right. And they want to, again, with their investments, they want to make sure their assets are making money. And if you're finding loopholes around it, they're going to change up some things. Now, if you're watching this, I brought it up in one of my last videos, but Spotify just changed their royalty threshold. So it's making it harder for us artists, even independent artists, to make a living, right, off of music. It's very, very difficult. But the music business has been about that for years. They've been able to take a lot of money out of pockets and all those things. Now, again, I'm not totally against record labels. If you want to get signed by a record label still, 
definitely do it, but please do your research. Please read through your contract. Have a lawyer read through it, actually. Make sure you're making the right deal and make sure that the record labels are not going to take much from you so that you can use it as leverage and later on do your own thing. You still want to make a bag, right? It's pretty hard as an artist to be out here even without a record label paying for production if you're not a producer yourself, paying for mixing and mastering, creating your own cover arts if you know how to do so or you got to pay somebody to do so and worrying about your vocals, paying for mics, studio time if you don't have your own studio. It's really difficult, right? And on top of that, you got to promote and market your music and make sure people are listening to it, especially in today's streaming era where everybody's making music. So again, be careful with these record labels because they will find some loopholes. They will find some clauses. Uh, one of my last videos, I recommended a book, Everything You Need to Know About the Music Business, and I highly recommend you guys go get it. But again, please do your research. I love how Joe Budden put this video up because he's already privy to it, just like a lot of the record labels are, and they're looking to put clauses in there to make it harder for artists. They just want to make more money, right? We're just products to them. We're just assets, right? Um, so again, you guys, hit me up in the comments below if you want to see other videos like this, any other how-tos. I'm always making videos every single week I release one, um, so just definitely hit me up. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new videos. I'm always uploading, like I said. My name is JC Flames from Hopeful Nation, and please stay hopeful.